What's up everyone? Welcome back to some more Road to the Show 21. Today I'm going to do a pre-requested rebuild as far as this poll goes. A good amount of people voted for the New York Yankees. So we're going to be trying to win the World Series in one season. If not one season, we have three seasons to do so. All right, here are our settings for the rebuild. Everything is good to go. We're turning GM contracts off. And then as far as this, we got auto manage, auto manage, and manual. The team is really good, right? I'm not set on Stanton or Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge is constantly injured. Stanton hasn't been performing. I have seen so many Yankees fans on Twitter saying, can we just trade this guy already? I've seen it, so I'm going to do it. I'm sorry, guys. If you're a Yankees fan, you're going to absolutely hate me for this, but we're trading Canton and another player that I really need to get rid of is Brett Gardner because his contract is pretty decent and he is 37. He's not going to perform it on road to the show he's just not going to perform so let's go after trade number one. All right, guys this is a pretty big trade i think in my opinion this is going to be really good jose ramirez for stanton geo and a deep potential 26 year old starting pitcher which i highly doubt will ever use this guy so this is a good trade i think now we gotta figure out what we gotta do as far as replacing stanton but this is definitely going to be awesome jose ramirez is going to be a solid pickup so in this trade we get ross stripling which is a pretty good uh relief pitcher and then we get a starter tanner rourke which we will use as a trade uh, we're trading darren o'day because i think 38 he's too old in my opinion and again mlb the show he's going to dip down it's not going to be worth keeping so that's going to be a good trade and then we'll go ahead and see what we can get for tanner rourke okay i know he's 35 but i'm curious to see how good ian desmond will be he might replace stanton until next season during the off season we can try and pick up some kind of free agent so I'm going to try this and see what happens. And now we're going to go ahead and shop around Aaron Judge. Okay. Austin Meadows and Randy or Aaron Judge. I will take this all day. All right. We're going to go ahead and do this for Brett Gardner. It's Cam Hill and Logan Allen, which is an A and C potential. Cam Hill doesn't look very good, but we're going after the starting pitcher that we could use in the future. All right, and taking a look at the lineup, not much has changed. We got a new third baseman, we got a new right fielder, and we got a new center fielder. I think overall, it turned out pretty decent, these trades, and not to mention, we also have a much larger budget, so that's pretty good. All right, guys, so that's going to be it until about the trade deadline. We're going to sim until the 26th of July, and ideally, we should be pretty good. All right, and I almost forgot to do the draft. If you didn't know, I actually forgot about it in the Seattle Manor's rebuild. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do it. Um, let's see if we can get anything good. And right around the draft, we are 35 and 27, two games well, three games back from the Boston Red Sox, and the Rays are right behind us. It looks like a pretty decent draft, um, to be honest. It looks like our relief pitcher is good. We got another good relief pitcher, and this catcher looks really good. I'm excited to see how this guy turns out. Z potential, 74 overall, 18-year-old catcher from Canada. It looks like our best player is Jose Ramirez. Um, everyone else is doing decent. I mean, we got Glaber, Luke Voigt, and DJ all hitting 300. Um, Randy and Austin Meadows doing eh. Clint Frazier hitting over 300. Derek Cole is looking pretty good, honestly. Uh, Cork Kluber, eh. Severina looking good. Whoa, look at that ERA. Only 2.1. 
Jordan not looking good. As far as the bullpen goes, I mean, I mean, our setup and closer looking meh. Everyone else is looking pretty good, but there's not much that we really need to do. So I have hope that we're going to make the playoffs. So we're going to sim until the end of October and we're going to see where we are. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. 89 and 73 and we are playing a tiebreaker against the Rays. This is going to be interesting. It looks like we could win the division, which wow, this division is tight. I think this is going to be about how it is in real life. Maybe not the exact same records, but I think it's going to be within the Yankees, the Rays and the Red Sox. Otherwise, the Rays, Red Sox, and Blue Jays, no specific order, really. Um, and then either the O's or the Yankees, you know, third and last place. But it's going to be very interesting to see how this season plays out. Uh, we got Severino on the mound for us. We'll see how things play out. But let's go ahead, jump into the tiebreaker. We'll quick manage it. And hopefully... Hopefully we can pull off a upset in New York against the Tampa Bay Rays. Now I'm a Rays fan, so this is going to be tough for me in my opinion. Um, yeah, the ending, just a double. So far, nothing going on. Get a piece so far. All right, come on Severino. We need, we need something good here. All right, we get a sack fly. All right, one nothing. We take the lead. Severino is looking pretty okay so far. Walk, strikeout, and a two-run home run. Oof. Oh, and a solo shot. Hit by pitch, double play. That's not good. Back bunt. Okay. All right, we tied the game up. <laughs> we gave up. Nah, that's it for Severino. Um, we're putting in Ross Stripling. We got the ending of walk, fielder choice, Swan, bases loaded, come on. Come on, Kyle. Um, we have anyone on the bench, Sanchez. Ooh, do we put Gary Sanchez in here? I think we do. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, that's tough. All right, four, three ball game. 5-3 ball game. Walk. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is happening here? Alright. Going to someone else in the bullpen. Not looking good. Bottom 8. Come on. Goodness. Alright. May have to walk it off. All right, Nick Anderson coming in. Gary Sanchez, strikeout. Jose Ramirez, ground out. And that is it. We lose six to three. Okay, so that was just for the division. The Rays win the division by a game. Um, I believe we tied with the Red Sox. We got Garrett Cole on the mound. Hopefully things go better. We're in Chicago. We need to upset them and hopefully we play better. Uh, I got managed... Gary Cole better if needed. Um, ooh, bases loaded, one out. Stack fly, one nothing. There we go, two nothing. We'll take it. Uh, not looking good. Okay, we got the ending. That single pop out walk. Fielder's choice. Nope, can't do anything. Gary Cole lead off double by Garcia. Nothing happens there. Looking good. Just keep on watching Garrett Cole, making sure his energy is high enough. It looks like this is a pretty good pitcher's duel besides the second inning. Both sides. Uh oh. Okay. Both sides are looking solid. I didn't want to jinx myself there. Garrett Cole. Wow. Okay. Can Garrett Cole go anymore? That's my question. Wow. Okay. Could Garrett Cole go the distance? Oh my gosh. Three run shot is five to nothing. Come on, Garrett Cole. 
Let's go. Garrett Cole, Peach to Jim, complete game shutout. Five hit, three walks, six Ks. Wow. All right. Now we're facing the Astros. We lose game one. We win game two. Jameson against Jose. Lose game three. Win game four. And it's for the tiebreaker. Garrett Cole versus Lance McCullers Jr. And we lose. We get eliminated in the playoffs by a single run against the Astros. It was it was a good run. Um good run. And the Rays win the World Series against the Mets. Alright, free agency. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. The first person we're going after is Kirby Yates. I know he is older. I always talk about order isn't good in the show, but Kirby Yates is just a solid closer, and hopefully he can do good for us. Okay, this is a little bit crazy, but I think I'm gonna go Corey Seager over Francisco Lindor. I know Lindor is probably gonna have a better year next year, but Corey Seager went off. I don't know. I, I have a better feeling about him for some weird reason. So Seager actually signed with the Dodgers, so I guess we'll go after Francisco Lindor still. Um, let's go seven years, a little bit extra. There we go. He's definitely going to sign with us, honestly. No doubt about it. So, Corey Kluber went to the Giants. That sucks for us. Uh, Kirby Yates signed. Um, Michael Confronto went to us. Anyone else? Francisco Lindor signed. Very, very awesome. So, the bullpen looks a lot more solid this year. Um, I'm going to put Kirby Yates as closer. Everyone else can stay in their spot. Season number two, we picked up Lindor and Michael. Um, honestly, I think they're both very solid pickups, to be honest. I really hope they help. Everything else pretty much stayed the same. As far as pitching rotation goes, here is our starting rotation. I hate that everyone is a righty. Um, the bullpen looks pretty solid. I got a couple pickups. Kirby Yates in free agency. I believe I signed Justin Wilson. Yes. Uh, Joe Smith was another pickup. And Colin McHugh as well. We're going to go ahead and sim until the draft. And I will see you guys then. Wow. We're looking incredible. The Rays are in last place. 18 and 30 after the World Series run. Ranked number two, 33 and 17. This is a solid team. Let's take a look at the lineup. Not bad. Looks like everyone is doing really good. Honestly. Garrett Cole, absolutely incredible. Uh, Severino, not doing bad. Jameson, eh. Andrew Miller, I don't know why he's in the starting rotation, but he's not doing bad, honestly. Eh. I mean, to be honest, the team is looking decent. Kirby Yates is a great closer, but it's working. So we're going to go ahead and sim to the draft. And hopefully we can get someone good in the draft. But yeah, I will see you guys after the draft. All right. As far as the draft goes, I think this was a very solid draft. We have a 67 overall starting pitcher. We have a good looking catcher, good looking second baseman. And honestly, it looks like only one person was under a 60 overall. And we have a low 60 overall. 63, not bad. So overall, a pretty solid draft. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and sim until the end of the year. Because we're 36 and 22. I have another feeling that we're going to make the playoffs. Hopefully win the division this year. And hopefully we can go all the way to the World Series. And just like that, we finish 90 and 72, and we're taking on the Angels in the ALDS. Here's a quick look at how our lineup did. Um, honestly, it's not bad. Glaber Torres had another incredible year, pretty much matched last year, except for RBI. Um, but I mean, again, another solid year. Jose Ramirez went off this year. Um, Conforto did good. Luke Voigt, oh my god gosh uh randy did good again in our bottom two not 
bad Clint Frazier and Gary Sanchez. I would have liked them to do better, but hey, it is what it is. I don't want to say it was a bad year, but it definitely wasn't as good. Um, Severino did good. Decent. <laughs> I mean, that ERA is so high. I don't like it. Michael King, I don't even know where he came from. Probably a um, prospect, maybe. Zach Britton, he needs to go. He needs to get out of this bullpen. Oh my gosh. Um, Colin, a 21 ERA in 1.2 innings. Joe Smith looks pretty solid. Chapman, eh. Andrew Miller, eh. Kirby Yates, good. Wow. Um, interesting team. I'm surprised we did as good as we did. And now we have Otani versus Cole. We lose eight to one. Gosh, man. All right, Severino, we win. We win game three and we win game four and we are taking on the White Sox for some revenge. We lose game one, we win game two. We win game three. Game four, we win. We lose game five. And this is for the World Series. And we win. We're taking on the Phillies in the World Series. We're making the World Series in year number one. Garrett Cole wins game one. Severino versus Zach Wheeler, we lose. Zach Eflin versus Jameson, we win. German versus Vince, we lose. Michael King versus Aaron Nola, we lose. And it's 2-3 in the World Series. Garrett Cole on the mound, oof. Can we win the World Series in two years? Um, this lineup looks solid. I don't understand how we wouldn't be able to. Come on, boys. We got Zach Wheeler. He's 3-0 in the playoffs so far. And we're already looking good. Two on, two out. Bases loaded, two outs. Come on, Luke Voigt. Oh, my gosh. Bases clearing, triple, and a single. It's a four to nothing in the first inning. Come on, Garrett Cole. We gotta make sure Garrett Cole does good in this game. That's the only way we're winning this. And we are up six to nothing. Just like that, Zach Wheeler is out of the game. Garrett Cole in some trouble, but gets out of it. Hopefully Garrett Cole keeps this up because he's looking solid. We got Spencer Howard. Howard, I should say, and it's eight to nothing just like that. Garrett Cole still looking solid. Solo home run. It is now nine to nothing. And they cannot get off of us. We're hitting everything. 12 to nothing. Wow. Can Garrett Cole go the distance? That's a real question. All right, let's see. His energy is pretty good. I have faith in him. Wow, all right. He might go the distance. It is 12 to nothing. Ground out, strike out, ground out, and the Yankees live to see another day. We already got the bases loaded. No outs, no hits. And we get a double play and a pop out. Are you kidding me? That's tough, but we get a run. We take a three to nothing lead. Okay. I'll take that. Severino, come on. Come on. Oh no, now the base is loaded. Okay, strike out. Okay, come on. Four to nothing. We get a run in that inning. And Severino is looking pretty solid. Man. They have two errors in this game so far. And it's definitely costing them runs. They got the bases loaded. That's a run. Sack fly. We are up six to nothing in game seven of the World Series. And they just can't hit off of us right now. We are doing so good. It's seven to nothing. Bases loaded. We didn't do anything. Severino is looking solid. Matt Barnes into the game. We can't really do anything. Wow. We are looking very, very good. 
Uh oh, base is loaded, no outs. Um, okay, this is not good. Okay. Poland, pop out. Double play. Oh my gosh, how did we get out of that? Jose Alvarado comes in to try and keep this game 7 to nothing. Runners on the corners. One out. Two outs. And we win the World Series in two years. Just like that. I was able to help the Yankees win another World Series. It's been a while since they were able to. That is awesome. Looking at the league leaders, we got Glaber Torres with 106 runs, and that was our only league leader. Looking at awards, we got Jose Ramirez with the World Series MVP, also playoff MVP. Barry Sanchez with the Gold Glove, DJ and Clint Frazier as well. Wow, what a season for this team. Um, looks like Mike Trout got MVP. But that's gonna do it guys we won the world series within two years year one we got eliminated from the playoffs by a red hot team and year number two we were on fire thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed make sure you drop a like on it subscribe down below if you're new to the channel consider checking out some of my other content i got a lot of road to the show content not only already out, but coming out as well, posting daily at noon Eastern Standard Time. So don't miss out, guys. If you guys have a suggestion for a team to rebuild next, definitely let me know by commenting down below. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in my next video.